Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. We just got this trade in. Uh, another one I think is very affordably priced, very clean for what it is. This is a 2001 Fleetwood Storm by Southwind. This is a smaller one, the Model 30H, which is their smallest one. 31 and a half foot bumper to bumper. Only 36,000 miles, folks traded this in on a big diesel. Um, just had new tires put on it here a few months ago. Literally a couple hundred miles, that's it on them. It's a nice little motorhome, folks. It's affordably priced for $19.9, which is what you're going to spend on a late model used travel trailer. Got a generator. Got some really nice upgrades uh, that you normally don't see in motorhomes in this price range. Got the very low miles. Uh, it's a small motor home, but it's got the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. It's got the optional workhorse chassis. Like I said, tires still have the tabs on them. They look brand new. Got the LumaGuard awning. This has got, now this may be a little overkill in my opinion, but they ordered it with the optional second air conditioner and the bigger generator. It's got the 5500 Onan uh, gasoline generator 5,000 pound hitch on the back and you can see the outside looks immaculate I mean no delamination roof looks great got one little spot right here where somebody backed into something right here on the corner not even really enough to worry about considering the age of the unit but you know easy size to drive and this is considered a small class A RV Uh, now this one's kind of a different one, folks, as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's got a Vortec V8, like all the brochures you can see, it says 8100 right there, and according to the factory brochure, this is supposed to have a 7.4, 454, it's the last, 2001 was the last year of the 454 V8. But the stickers say 8100. But I looked at the build date, and this has got an unusually Unusual build date, folks. The chassis's got a build date of 5 of 2001. And then the motorhome was built a month later. You know, most 2001 motorhomes are built on 2000 model chassis. So technically, this is a 2001 and a half. In fact, most RV manufacturers would call this a 2002 model. So I'm going to assume that it does, because the 2002's had the 8100. I'm going to assume it does have the 8100, but I can't guarantee it. It'll be one of the two motors, the 7.4 Vortec, 454 cubic inch, or the 8100 Vortec V8. Now, folks, I asked the previous owners. He's had it for a few years. He didn't know. And be honest with you, we're not talking about a 40-foot motor home. Either motor will give you more than enough power for towing or for driving than you'll ever need for a motor home this size. But like I said, um, we'll call it an 8100, but like I said, I can't guarantee it, so don't be disappointed if it does wind up being a 454, which in my opinion, both are great motors. Of course, 8100's got a little bit more horsepower. 36,119 miles, no check engine lights, seats look great, got the original carpet, windshields look great, dash looks great. The HWH hydraulic leveling jacks is a nice option for a small motor home. Got one little pick right here in the uh, passenger side seat, and I, and I know this is irrelevant because I know everybody looking at this understands that this is a 18-year-old motorhome. But I know so many of my customers travel a long ways away to buy from us, so I like to pick it for you. Now, do I see everything? Sometimes I miss stuff, but. Not many people is going to sit there and pick their own RV that they've got for sale. That way there's no surprises for anybody involved. Carpeted headliner, of course it's got the two airs. Um, got to fit that 5500 watt generator with 700 hours on it. This is a nice little motorhome folks, 31 and a half feet, very easy size to drive and it's one of the smaller class A's you can get as well. Sleeper sofa makes a bed, you've got a table booth that makes a bed so you can sleep six. Um, nice overhead cabinets. You know, Fleetwood RV is one of the founding members of the RV industry. In fact, this particular year model 
was the 50th anniversary. So they've been around since the early 50s. And, um, you know, they, of course, they have built more motorhomes than any other RV manufacturer in industry history. So there's more Fleetwood Class A's on the road and Class C's than any other brand of RVs. Got a factory brochure in here, and I'll have this available on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, on PDF, that you can download and print out and look at. Um, also, if you're watching this video on YouTube, go after you get through watching the video, go down to the video description. First paragraph, there'll be a link to my used Class A page on our website. Click on that. Click on uh, this particular one or whichever other one you want to look at on our website. You'll see pictures. You'll see specs. You'll see that PDF factory brochure. I'll have finance applications, trade-in appraisal forms, and much more uh, on our website. But uh, everything's clean, folks. Um, Stovetop, oven, double stainless stink. Plumbing's good, water heater's good. People just traded it in, folks. They just drove it in here and they just used it here just last week. Inside, refrigerator's clean, already getting cold. Yeah. You know, it's a nice rig. Split bath, which is about the only choice you have in a, mo in a motor home this small. And you can look here, folks. You can see the stickers are not missing which is unusual for a 2001 because these stickers, if they have a lot of use in the shower, those things constantly get wet and dry, wet and dry, and they, and they peel off, and especially when they're toward the bottom where you're rubbing them with your feet. And the fact is that all these stickers are in this good a shape. Tells me this motorhome doesn't have a lot of use, and with the low miles that's on it, that's pretty obvious. You can see, and I'll try to show you around the uh, skylight without my camera dimming. And you can see no water stains. That's the first place any RV is going to leak if it's not taken care of. And that is the skylight. And that one obviously doesn't have the problem. You can open your door up for a privacy barrier. Very clean bathroom. Still got the sticker on the, on the uh, glass. Cozy rear bedroom with a Queen Island bed. You've got a solid sliding privacy door, which is nice. Most of these storms don't have that. They have a curtain. Um, you've got day-night shades. They all work. You've got plenty of closet space. Original factory bed spread. Carpet's not stained up. I mean, this is a nice rig for the money, folks. Now, it's not what I would call a, um, a top-of-the-line Mercedes-Benz motorhome, but... For somebody just wanting a basic, easy-to-use motorhome or a first-time motorhome, uh, something that's not real complicated, this is a great choice. Easy to drive, easy to park. I mean, this is only maybe, uh, it's only eight or nine feet longer than my everyday driver, my full-size van. So, I mean, this is an easy one to drive and park, especially for you uh, first-timers. It's a great one, and it's priced right. I mean, where it's priced at, folks, at 19.9, it's going to be worth that for the next year or two. So, here's the thing. I mean, if you're not sure if you like RVing and you don't want to risk 70, 80 grand buying a different motorhome just to see if you like it or not, something like this you can buy for 19.9, take care of it, use it a little bit, and if it's if RVing happens to not be for you. Put it back on RV Trader, put it on eBay, and, and a year from now or a year and a half from now, it'll still be worth what you paid for it. Or you can uh, upgrade it to something else or sell it to, to get something else. You know, number one piece of advice I can give for you, uh, Greenhorn, what we call Greenhorn or first time RV buyers, you can overthink it to death, but you will never buy the first mo the perfect motor home for you the first time around, the second time around, the third time around. It takes actually owning a motorhome and using it and figuring out what you need, what you don't need, what you want, what you don't want. I've seen people come in here and buy a pop-up camper. Two years later, they're driving a 45-foot diesel Class A motorhome. And I've seen the opposite. I've seen people come in here gung-ho, buy a $100,000 used motorhome, and uh, three years later, 
they've got an 18-foot travel trailer. Everybody's needs change. And, um, and like I said, it takes owning one to figure out what you want, what you don't want. So I know people, they'll, they'll spend, I've, I've talked to customers who've been looking for two solid years and they overanalyze everything. Don't find something that's in good shape that meets most of your needs and go with it, folks. Because in the time you're looking, you could have already bought one, been using it, figured out what you want, what you don't want, and, and already got rid of it and got the one you wanted. So, um, you know, I just that's just something I like to point out. A lot of people don't think about this stuff, but I see it every day, folks. And that's why there's different types and different sizes of RVs for everybody. But anyway, folks, this unit's 19.9. This unit at 19.9 will be checked out by my certified RV techs after purchase. We're going to go through it. Of course, I've already got the air, the generator, the lights, and the fridge working and the plumbing system. But we're going to take it one step further, check the awning, check the jacks, check all your outside bays, check your plumbing system, uh, check your refrigerator on LPN, electric operation, um, and much more. And we're going to go through it and make sure it's right and no expense will be spared. And there's no, uh, at 19 9 folks, that's your guaranteed price. You know, if we have to put a generator or an air or a fridge or a combination of those or, or anything else on this RV and spend more than we planned on checking it out, that price does not go up. You're guaranteed that 19 9 price. You're guaranteed this 2001 Fleetwood Storm by Southwind 30H with 36,000 miles. Everything on that list will work flawlessly, no matter what it costs, no expense will be spared. And um, it'll be checked out, ready to go for 19.9 out the door, plus applicable sales tax. I mean, you're guaranteed that, folks. Um, at 19.9, this unit will be checked out by my techs. Then after they're, che they're done checking it out and everything works good, my cleaning crew gets a hold of it inside and out. Then we lock it up, keep everybody out of it because people, tell you something, folks, we have a couple hundred sets of customers a week go through these RVs and, and unescorted, and they do thousands of dollars worth of damage a year. Nine out of ten of you wouldn't do that. You respect other people's property, but there's always that one out of ten, and they go in, they push buttons, they open up vents, leave them open so it rains in them, and uh, their kids jump up and down, eating and drinking, spilling stuff. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, you know, I've had to replace brand new carpet that I just installed because somebody's kid had grape Kool-Aid and they spilt it all in it. And people didn't say a word to nobody. Uh, obviously, look, got in their car and left. Had to re-carpet the entire thing. Cost me several hundred dollars because some kid didn't have the lid on their cup down tight full of Kool-Aid or fruit punch or whatever it happened to be in. But anyway, folks, it, it's just one of those things. And, you know, I can under, certainly understand why other dealers don't let people just randomly loosen their RVs because of stuff like that. But we're going to continue to do that because that's one thing we're known for, being the only dealership around with 150-plus used RVs that you can get out and look at your own leisure without having to go through a sales office, without having to have a, one of those uh, high-pressure salespeople follow you around. You can look without a salesperson or with a salesperson. It's up to you. Look at your own leisure because we know that when you're ready to buy, everybody's an adult. You're going to come to us. We shouldn't have to come to you. Um, anyway, folks, 199. this unit will be checked out, ready to go. Um, it'll be cleaned up. Then it'll be locked up, keep everybody out of it. My service manager, Gordy, will do his final walkthrough. He'll call you if he's satisfied with everything, set up an appointment for you to come pick up your RV. You'll arrive here at the appointed time, and when you get here, uh, the tech that checked it out is going to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you. He's going to have a checklist with him. He's going to go over everything on that checklist and then have you sign it at the end. That's everything that's on our checklist, showing you everything works on it. He'll give you tips, tricks, and pointers. He'll give you... <coughs> As far as he'll show you anything he had to do as far as repairs, he will um, answer any questions you have. If you've got a runabout, he'll help you hook that up as well. All that's included, folks, for $19.9. It's the same inspection that a $100,000 motorhome goes through because we're going to put this, this $19.9 motorhome through. 
Um, can't really beat that, folks. You know, you go to any other dealer, and you look at a 2001 18-year-old motorhome for 199. They're not going to check nothing on it. They're not going to clean it. All they're going to do is give you the keys. Says, "Here you go. Goodbye." They're not going to check it out, show you how to operate anything. It's just a jump in and go price only. And uh, we're not like that, folks. We've been doing this for 50 years. We're family owned and operated. We believe just because you don't want to spend 100 grand on a motorhome doesn't mean you shouldn't get 100 grand treatment. So we're going to go through it, show you how to operate everything, answer any questions you have. Um, we'll give you a, a temporary tag good anywhere in the country. We'll give you a starter kit, five gallon bucket full of sewer hoses, full of a, uh, uh, full of a, uh, water hoses, adapters, chemicals, and more. That's included for the 19.9 price and much more. Um, you're also going to get an instructional DVD that you can watch, and it does have a flat screen TV in here, folks, and a Blu-ray player, so that's been updated. And all that's included for only 19.9. Um, great deal, folks. Financing is available because it is an 01, so I do still have financing for it with approved credit. Um, Normally, it's 10% down payment is, a, is kind of the standard mandatory down payment because this is an older RV. You may have to spend a little more. You know, you may have to put four or five grand down, but trust me, folks, it's worth it. Um, and financing's, of course, with approved credit only. And we're more than happy to go through your own bank or credit union. It doesn't matter to us who you go through. We don't mark interest rates up like other RV dealerships do. Um, so that way, you know you're getting the lowest possible rate we can get you approved for. Got any questions about that, questions about the RV, if you want to see a copy of the list of everything that we inspect and guarantee for the price you pay, contact my sales department at 706-965-7929, and they'll be happy to email, email you over that list, answer any questions you have about the RV or the financing or how our purchase process works, um, and more. Now, we also offer a discounted option B price. And our prices, let me go ahead and clarify this, are haggle-free. That means firm, non-negotiable. We don't take offers. This is the price. You know, you don't go to Walmart. You see a TV for $500. You don't offer them $250 for it, do you? Well, guess what? Thanks to the Internet, you don't have to do that with RVs either now. And trust me, folks, car and RV dealers every day are going to this. We're already competing against thousands of dealers online, so if this obviously wasn't one of the lowest priced uh, 2001 30H uh, storms on the market, you wouldn't be interested in it. So we know you've already checked prices, you've already looked at it. This is what it takes, folks. 19.9 if you want it checked out, ready to go, or if you want an as-is price, which is what you would normally get at other dealerships. We'll discount the unit, but keep in mind you're giving up the inspection, you're giving up the walkthrough demonstration, you're giving up everything. All your buying's a motorhome, good with any potential bad. Um, in other words, you the buyer, it as, it's an as-is deal, so you the buyer will be 100% responsible for any current or future repairs this RV may need. And um, that's option B, and there's no exclusions to that. Just because a motor, it doesn't cover motor. It doesn't matter if it's a motor, a running gear part, or RV component part, you're responsible for any repairs. That's option B. And if you want a haggle-free price on option B, contact my sales department or go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, click on the Get Lowest Price feature, and you'll find out that way as well. Now, I'm not asking you to make your mind up. This is an 18-year-old vehicle. It's nice, clean, probably one of the nicest ones in the country and low miles but i'm not asking you to make your decision based on my video and opinion everybody's got different opinions about everything including what kind of condition an 18 year old motorhome for nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars should be in to be nice enough for you to consider buying it and everybody that looks at it will have a different opinion about it that's what makes us human everybody's got different opinions about everything so Come out, if you are able to, come out and look at it. Come out spend some time in it. Let us know you're coming. We'll turn the generator on or plug it in, get everything on for you. Do your own inspection of it, test drive it, and then decide if this is the right one for you. 
And they also, when you, when you decide if it's the right one for you, then you can decide if you want to do option A or B. Obviously, the advantages of option B over A is you get a discounted price off an already incredibly low price, and you get to take it home the same day you pay for it. Option A, of course, has to stay here um, for the inspection, which right now we're only talking about a week and a half, maybe. You know, always verify that with your salesperson, of course, what the current lead time is for a Class A gas uh, checkout. Also, the salesperson will give you an estimated sales tax. Uh, sales tax varies from state to state. Sales tax laws are not universal. They vary sometimes on how you pay for an RV, whether it's cash, trade, finance, or a combination. So make sure when you get that inspection sheet, when you call to get that sheet, sheet sent to you, and the current lead time, ask the salesperson, tell them where you live and how you're paying for it, and he will be happy to give you an estimated sales tax total. Plus tell you if you need to pay us a sales tax or pay your local DMV office. It varies from state to state, folks. It's complicated, believe me. Everybody has to pay it, though. That's part of living in this great country. But, like I said, that way there's no surprises for anyone. You know, we're a high-volume dealer. We like to keep things as smooth and as quick as possible, but still give you good quality service. You know, we sell five to 600 used RVs a year, and you can obviously tell, for those of you who watch my videos, that we get a ton of inventory in, folks. In fact, I think we just had two or three come in while we're shooting this video that just came in. So definitely got some nice inventory, got something for a little bit of something for everybody, uh, price range and type. I've got motorhomes, diesels, gas, class A, Bs, and Cs. I've got travel trailers, toy haulers. I've got fifth wheels um, and more. And we trade for just about anything. We'll trade for vehicles, boats. We'll trade for classic cars, guns, jewelry, coin collections, uh, anything we can put a value on, folks. We'll be happy to give you a trade figure for it. We're not scared. Even stuff other dealers say no way to, a lot of times we'll say yes. So give us a call, folks. 706-965-7929. That number's answered 24-7. Uh, if it's after hours or answering service picks it up, they have basic information if they can't help you. They'll get your contact info, forward it to my non-commissioned sales team. My guys are non-commissioned. They get paid the same whether you buy one or not. So there's no sales pressure, no games, no gimmicks, no surprises, no BS, none of the other stuff that so many of you are unfortunately used to dealing with commissioned salespeople. My guys get paid the same whether you buy one or not. Our customers prefer it that way because that means no sales pressure. Our salespeople prefer it that way because they know exactly what they're going to bring home to their families every payday. And um, it works good for everybody involved. I don't know why more dealers don't do it that way. You know, we have no fees. You go to these other dealerships, after you make a deal with them, they add thousands of dollars in fees, like dock fees, prep fees, freight fees, setup fees, inspection fees, etc. 19.9, there's no fees, just sales tax. That's it. Keeps things simple. Option B price plus sales tax, no fees. We've been doing this since 1968, folks. We're not going to charge a fee. You never have, never will. You know, we put our experience to work for you, folks. We only buy the cream of the crop and we'll trade for anything, folks. But this one right here is one that I would have no problem purchasing. We traded for it, but Believe me, I would have. Had, I have. I wish I could find one like this to purchase to resell to y'all because this is just an unusually nice motorhome for this price. And um, wow, I mean, this is literally worth quite. A, I think it's worth quite a bit more than what we're asking for it. But we price them to sell, not sit around. So this is a nice rig, 19.9, checked out, ready to go. Or contact the sales department, or go to our website for an option B price. Thank you for watching. Please call ahead before coming to look to make sure this unit's still available. I never delete my YouTube videos and I do not remove the ad from the internet until the deal closes. So just because it's listed online doesn't mean it doesn't have a deposit on it. And thanks to the internet, there's no such thing as local customers anymore. People come from all over the country to buy from us. And all it takes is a credit card and a five minute phone call. It's off the market. Call ahead. 
right before you leave the house to come here to look. If you want to fly in here, uh, we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport. Very easy airport to fly in and out of. I have several sets of customers a week that take advantage of that. And depending on where you're at, it's cheaper to, to fly than drive. So, a whole lot quicker. So, give us a call. We'll be happy to pick you up, um, bring you back here, and um, let you look at it. And You know, you can take it option B and take it home with you that day, or you can do option A and... You know, we'll be happy to run you back to the airport or we can and then maybe have it delivered or meet you somewhere with it or something like that. We'll try to work something out. Um, we have nationwide delivery and much more. Thank you for watching my video, folks. It's a nice rig. Don't let it get away. Um, I've got several nice motorhomes right now in this price range. So if this is your price range, you're on a budget or this is your first time RV purchase, you need to come out and talk to us. Come out, look at our inventory, meet us, let us show you around. You'll like it. We're family owned and operated. We're not a corporate dealer. We keep things simple. No fees, no haggling, no commission salespeople, no games, no gimmicks. Straightforward, out the door prices, and much more. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.